So this video is all about solving some of the biggest issues you'll have with your Apple AirDrop. If you're trying to drop something using your phone or your iPad and it just isn't working, this video definitely is for you. And again, make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we show you also what to do if AirDrop just isn't working on your Mac computer or your Mac laptop. Let the download begin. If you're finding the channel for the first time, we do support videos here that teach you how to use the devices you currently own, but also how to troubleshoot some of the biggest issues those devices may have. If you enjoy videos like that, hit that subscribe button down below and join our user support movement. And also don't forget to share your thoughts, comments, and any questions you have in the comment section below the video as well. And while you're in a sharing mood, go ahead and share the video out because you never know who it can help. Let's troubleshoot some airdrop issues. Okay, so this is just a quick reminder of what airdrop is and how it works. I promise that this does play a bigger role into the video and I'm not just talking to hear or see, in this case, myself talk. So airdrop is Apple's way of transporting documents, files, videos, audio, basically anything that's in your phone that can be transported or shared, AirDrop can share it to different Apple devices. That includes iPhones, iPads, Macs, MacBook Pros, anything within the Apple ecosystem. And the way that AirDrop actually works is it uses two forms of connection. It uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now it uses the Bluetooth connection to establish the connection between the two devices. And it uses the Wi-Fi connection to transfer the information over from one device to the next. So that's actually where we're going to start this troubleshooting. We're going to start by checking your connections. You're going to go into the action center on your iPhone or iPad, and you're going to make sure that your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi are both turned on. And you can simply just check that in your action center connections area by touching those things to make sure they're activated. Now, if they're already activated and you're still having an issue transporting or airdropping things, then you want to turn those connections off, wait a couple of seconds, and then turn them back on. Turning connections off and turning them back on can help reset some of the inner workings of the device and have those connections start talking to each other again. So simply turn your Bluetooth off, turn your Wi-Fi off, wait a couple of seconds, turn them back on, and then try the process of airdropping whatever you were trying to airdrop before and see if that works. Now, if that doesn't work, you're still in this connection area. You can check your airdrop settings themselves. Remember, airdrop has three settings that it can be on. It can be on no contact at all. You can drop to contacts only, and then they also have the airdrop to everyone. So if you have your airdrop either set to off turn it on and then try again. But if you have it also just set to contacts and you're unable to drop to a different device, try sending it to everyone and then trying to drop again to see if that works. Sometimes because that context one is so complex, the settings may not match up properly. Whereas when you set it to everyone, the settings are kind of open and you can just drop it. Just remember to turn that setting back off because you're basically leaving your phone open for anything to be dropped into it. If you walk around with everyone being able to drop into your iPhone or iPhone, iPad. Now also remember that the other device also has airdrop settings on it as well and it has to be set up in order for it to be discoverable so you want to check both settings on both devices. Now you've checked all that and still isn't working. The next step I always throw the step in here simply because it is an important step. Check for updates on your device. So you want to make sure your iOS is as updated as possible. Sometimes if your iOS version is higher or lower than the one that you're trying to drop to it can cause some conflicts in connection. Check your iOS, see if there's any updates, the device you're trying to drop to or receive from. Also check the iOS on that to make sure that there's no updates there as well. The devices have to be as updated as possible in order for these things to work properly. So always check for updates. That should be definitely one of the main troubleshooting steps you take with anything. The next step you're going to take is trying to reset your network settings. So this is another step of just clearing out your cache when it comes to the network settings that are saved within your specific device. You're going to go into your settings. You're going to go into general settings settings all the way at the bottom, you'll have a reset option. If you hit that reset option, then you'll go into another menu that has network settings there and you're able to actually reset the full network settings on your device. So I would suggest just resetting the network settings on the device, re-establishing the connection. Now also just keep in mind that the Wi-Fi doesn't necessarily need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. The Wi-Fi is only used to transport the data once the Bluetooth established the connection. So you wouldn't have to check to make sure the devices are on both the 
same networks. You just have to make sure that Wi-Fi is on on both devices. But resetting those network settings can kind of clear out the cache, clear out the information, get those Wi-Fi settings back to their default setting. And that can sometimes help making sure they establish the connection, making sure you're able to transfer the things that you're looking to transfer between both devices. And when in doubt, you want to make sure you hard reset both devices. And that's simply just powering off the iPhone or iPad, waiting a couple of seconds, letting everything clear out and powering it back up and then trying your transfer once more. Hard resetting can kind of reset everything on the device and make sure that the device itself is cleared out of the cache, has cleared all the information and it's booting back up in its normal mode. And you want to make sure you're resetting both the sending and the receiving device. So as promised, now we're going to cover the Mac portion of this troubleshooting steps. Remember that you can airdrop from iPhones, iPads, Mac, MacBooks as well. So sometimes if you're airdropping to or from a Mac, it's not showing up the way it's supposed to. A couple of things you can check is the same things that you would check on the phone itself, just in different locations. So you're going to check the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the Mac, and that's located in two sections, actually. You can either go into the settings itself, and then you have your Bluetooth option in the settings. And then in your network settings, you have the Wi-Fi option there. But they also have the quick settings on the top bar of the Mac itself, and you can kind of just click and make sure both those settings are on and connected. So the next thing you also want to do is check your airdrop settings themselves. And that is found in Finder. So if you launch Finder and you go into your menu options there and you have your airdrop setting there, you can go in and check to make sure you're set to either everyone or contacts only. And the same rules apply here that if it's set to no, then it's blocked off completely. If it's set to contacts only, that's the kind of intricate one that can be a little bit buggy sometimes. But if it's set to everyone, you should be in a discoverable mode in any device that's close by with airdrop enabled should be able to discover you and drop any items into your computer. So you do have another option there that's available and that would be searching for older Macs. So I believe this is if you're on a Mac that's like 2011 or older, you would basically just hit this button and the airdrop would go into search mode and be able to locate older Macs. It'll be able to search out and pull up the older Macs running the older OS or running the older firmwares. And if all else fails, there's a little bit of an advanced feature feature that you can check that sometimes can be blocking connections. And that's the app firewall that's set up in your Mac. So this is going to be located in your settings, in your security and privacy area, and you have your firewall option there. So with that firewall option, it's going to sometimes block any kind of incoming and outgoing connections that it deems unsafe. So if you're trying to drop something and you're running to an issue and this firewall is up, you may want to try turning it off and then trying to drop again. And turning it off is really simple. Once you go into this menu setting on the bottom, you'll see like a little lock you click that lock it's going to ask you for your admin password once you enter that password and then the menu itself becomes interactive you're able to actually interact with it and you just hit that little radio button on the side if it's turned on go ahead and turn it off try your drop once more you may have to turn it off and reset your mac in order for everything to come back so do a hard reset after you turn it off then try a discoverable mode again try to discover the mac and try to drop and see if that works. If all else fails, then you can again try just a hard reset on the Mac going to the top where that Apple logo is, hitting that reset button, shutting everything down, give it a couple of seconds, let it reset and boot back up, and then try your drop once more. These steps should definitely help you get your device to communicate, get everything talking, and get you the ability to drop whatever the heck you're trying to drop into your Mac, into your iPad, or into your iPhone. So if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments about AirDrop, go ahead and share those in the comment section below this video. If you have a tip that I didn't share in this video, go ahead and share that in the comment section as well. I'm sure the community would love to hear it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notification, join our user support movement. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And until next time, Peace.